Hi everyone, I'm Mark Murray and welcome to this edition of City Vision. You know, recently I had the opportunity to participate in a groundbreaking for a huge project here for the city, one that uh, could really change the face of how we even fuel our vehicles. And uh, I had never been part of a groundbreaking before, I had never planned one before, uh, but it was pretty exciting and uh, you'll see when you watch this video that we had to get a little creative on it uh, because the, uh, in the days and actually in the hours leading up to the groundbreaking, it was pouring rain. But uh, it was fun to do, and uh, we're excited about it. I want you to be excited about it. Take a look. My name is Mark Murray. I serve as a project manager for the City of Hamilton and Underground Utilities. And I am going to introduce to you now the mayor of Hamilton, Pat Muller. Good morning, all. And welcome, all. This is a, a great day and also a symbolic day for the City of Hamilton, Butler County and this region. Our citizens are going to own, next to where we're standing right now, a public compressed natural gas fueling station for CNG powered vehicles. Our city now has four CNG powered vehicles that are right behind us. And as you can see, it says powered by natural gas, clean, abundant, American, and on the side of the door, it says City of Hamilton, Butler County, Ohio. Compressed natural gas is a cleaner fuel, a safe fuel, and a cheaper fuel. And we're proud to be making the future now here in the City of Hamilton and using compressed natural gas. I want to thank our utility professionals, many of them who are here today, and our city administration who make this vision a reality. As well as you'll hear thanks to other people, the engineers and alike, who who are going to make this project a reality. I also want to thank our partners, partners OKI, Regional Council of Government, as well as the uh, Ohio Department of Transportation and our other consultants and, and professionals. I want to give a special thank you. First off, I'm joined by Council Member Carla Fear. And our special thanks go to some of those who are in our audience today, including uh, State Senator Bill Coley, State Representative Wes Rutherford, Mr. Representative Margie Condit, who is here. We also have County Commissioner T.C. Rogers. We have County Administrator uh, Charles Young. And County Commissioner Don Dixon wishes us also great luck and, and uh, great progress in this project. Now I'm going to close by saying this is another example of the city of Hamilton being aggressive and progressive for our citizens. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pat. Uh, it's to, left to me to acknowledge a number of the folks that have uh, had a hand in bringing this project to fruition. Uh, first, I'd like to acknowledge, of course, Mayor Moeller, Hamilton City Council, our city manager, Joshua Smith, and his team for providing the needed support to get us this far. In our initial research and many times since, we've been able to rely on the expertise gained from other Ohio cities in their CNG efforts. Specifically, I'd like to acknowledge Beth Lozier, the city of Dublin, and Bill Burns and Kelly Reagan at the city of Columbus. For being willing local partners in our early effort, I want to thank Superintendent Janet Baker and the Hamilton City School District, as well as Carla Licatas, uh, the Butler County Regional Transit Authority, and we'll hear more from Carla shortly. I'd like to express our gratitude to the Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana Regional Council of Governments for helping Hamilton obtain a congestion mitigation air quality grant, uh, a grant of $700,000 that's being administered by the Ohio Department of Transportation and their representatives, Scott Brown and John Molesky. We've experienced a wealth of assistance and flexibility from our station designer, Air and Gas Technologies of Cliffwood Beach, New Jersey, who actually had to deal with Hurricane Sandy during their effort. And we've had the assistance of two local professional engineers. Uh, the site plans were prepared by Rob Painter. I think Rob's here, right over there. And we had assistance with the station plans from John Stenger of Premier Energy Services. I think John's here somewhere. There you go. I also want to acknowledge the effort of the city departments and their staffs and staff members involved in the plan review, because you don't do this alone. Uh, Public Works under the direction of Rich Engel. I don't know, is Rich here? Um, community planning under the direction of Bud Scharf. 
our Hamilton Fire Department, which is under the direction of Chief Steve Dawson, and the staff of our Economic Development Department, Jody Gunderson, Director. Jody's here, I believe. Thank you, Jody. Under the direction of Public Utilities Director Doug Childs, Doug's here. I want to recognize Director John Bowie, John's over here, and the Underground Utilities staff, of which I'm a member, as well as the staff of Hamilton's Electric Department, now under the direction of Kevin Maynard, right back there. And finally, no, no chuckles, I'm like, he's going to go on and on, isn't he? And finally, we want to welcome to our team the contractor who will build our station, the R.W. Sutherland Building Company of Columbus, Ohio, and I'd like to introduce to you now their project manager, Gary Schmidt. Gary. Thanks, Mark. Um, we're very happy to be here, uh, to, be, to be a part of this project. Um, as Mark had mentioned, we were, have been involved in the Dublin and the City of Columbus projects, and we're looking forward to getting this one started. We're out of the gate. We're uh, ordering uh, equipment and look to complete this project by later on in this fall. So again, I appreciate the opportunity and uh, happy to be a part of the team. Thanks very much. And now please welcome Carla Licatos to the Butler County Regional Transit Authority. Carla. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, on behalf of the Butler County RTA Board of Trustees, uh, we wish to offer our congratulations to the City of Hamilton, Mayor Moeller, Council folks, uh, Joshua staff, uh, on this event, on this reaching this milestone today. The mission of the Butler County RTA is to support quality of life and promote economic development in Butler County through public trans transportation solutions. Part of that is encouraging private and public investment in alternative modes of transportation and in alternative fuels. So you can see why we're a supporter of this project. Currently, the RTA, RTA has 45 vehicles. We are in the process of replacing 15 of our 35-foot diesels with clean diesel uh, buses, which will happen over the next year or so. And the remaining buses, we will be looking at alternative fuels. So we're certainly hoping that during our investigation and decision-making, we'll see some opportunities to take advantage of this investment we're celebrating today. So once again, I want to thank the city of Hamilton for their leadership, congratulate you on your milestone event today, and really to wish the project Godspeed. Thanks so much. All right, now let me bring to the microphone our city manager, Joshua Smith. Thank the opportunity to have a chance to speak, but uh, I just want to speak very briefly, give a lot of credit to uh, Doug Childs, his entire utility team, many of them that are here today, to really take a vision of having a clean, sustainable community uh, to the very next level. Uh, also, a very special thank you to Speaker John Boehner, who a decade ago helped us obtain the FERC licensing uh, necessary to build our green, excuse me, our Meldal Hydroelectric Dam project, which should be online in the first quarter of 2015. So not only are we uh, doing a groundbreaking today for a CNG fueling station, we're also going to have 70 percent, over 70 percent of our power uh, be clean, sustainable energy because of our three hydro stations that the city of Hamilton uh, either has a partnership in or controls uh, by early next year. So again, uh, thank you to Doug Childs, his entire utility team, many that are here today. I, I know they work extremely hard uh, in conjunction with our economic development staff to take this uh, green power, clean energy opportunity and help create jobs in Hamilton, Ohio. So thank you very much. Senator, you want to come up? Would you like, would you like Joshua to come up as well? Yeah, yeah. well, I'll call him up here in okay. a second. All right. um, Good morning. For those of you who don't know me, I'm State Representative Wes Rutherford. I represent Hamilton. I'm very pleased to be here this morning. You know, uh, these kind of initiatives is something we've been pushing at the State House. Uh, there's a big oil and gas boom here in Ohio, so we have the resources here. So it's good to see communities like Hamilton using those resources. 
And especially since last week we passed House Bill 336, which gives tax credits for converting your vehicle to compressed natural gas. So now we need these gas stations or these CNG stations up and going. So that way people have places to fill their cars up. But real quick, if I could make a presentation, uh, Mr. Mayor, Josh, would you mind coming up here, please? I have in my hand a uh, commendation for the city of Hamilton. Um, I won't bore you with reading it, but, but it is in honor and recognition of the groundbreaking for its compressed natural gas station on April 4, 2014. It is signed by myself, uh, representatives Tim Derrickson and Margie Condit, the two other representatives from Butler County, and also the Speaker of the Ohio House, William G. Batchelder. Mr. Mayor. Go too far. You want oh, to, okay. If you want to, you're on. Oh, God. That's not good. You always underestimate the amount of uh, traffic that will block I-75 on your way up from Cincinnati. But I'm really happy to be here because this is another example of, you know, uh, resourceful Ohioans finding a better way to use Ohio's resources. So I just always, I'm just really proud of the city of Hamilton. It gives them the chance to seize upon some savings by converting and use, utilizing propulsion systems that are not traditional. And in the course of doing that to help the city of Hamilton save money and better use its resources, it's also gonna make that opportunity available for anybody else who wants to come to this facility. So I'm just really, really proud of the city and glad to participate and, and learn more of it. And I look forward to helping the city of Hamilton and its economic development for many years to come. So thanks for having us here today. Senator Coley, thank you. All right, that concludes our prepared remarks. Now, after we do our groundbreaking, and again, obviously we had to get a little creative because of the weather, uh, we do have a fact sheet, and um, I invite you all to check out our strategic initiative update. It tells you about all the great things going on in Hamilton. And of course, please uh, have some of the best tasting water in the world bottled for your uh, pleasure. So, let's do the groundbreaking. Everybody got in? All right, on the count of three, we'll just go for one, two, three. Look at the camera. You <laughs> 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 All right. Didn't get you, <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that video, because I tell you, it was really fun to participate in that and, uh, and watch for that in uh, just a matter of months now, before the end of the year. We're going to be bringing you the video of the ribbon cutting for our compressed natural gas station. So again, uh, I was excited to participate and I hope you look forward to seeing it too. So anyway, with that, I'll leave you by thanking you for watching TV Hamilton, hometown television with a personal touch. And from all of us here at City Vision, thanks for watching.